All right. Um, he gets really pissed off, and he's actually going to attack the other goblin. That's awesome. Oh, and he is going to hit hit I him. Love it. <laughs> I love it. And he kills the other goblin. <laughs> Upon, upon hearing the sounds of the goblins fighting, Donar is going to light the torch and move forward because he wants to know the answer. And this is what I get for taking the great old one as my patron. Dude, I love it. I might want to play a warlock if I ever play a 5e again. That's fucking awesome, dude. All right, let's all roll initiative again. <laughs> oh, by the way, Lex, congrats on... Uh... 22 viewers. Oh, nice. Awesome. I rolled that a death saving man. throw and got an 18 <laughs> and roll initiative and get an 8. Oh. <laughs> Hit the wrong button. I don't even know why I did that. Okay, so the goblins go first. So this goblin just killed one of his friends. The other two goblins are like, what the fuck? And they're going to attack the first goblin. They, they might just do your work for you, guys. I, I don't know. Um, well, that one misses. This guy runs forward. You suck! What do you think you're doing? We're goblin brothers. And Wow, I rolled two ones. How does that work? Why and can't those be against us? The first goblin swings at one of the other. Oh, man, this goblin's a badass. You guys need to have him on your side. And he fucks up one of those goblins. And Alatar, it's your go. The goblins are like going at it. I kind of want to see how this plays out, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. Okay, uh, Morden. Uh, Morden's just going to kind of step over here and make sure they don't come up the stairs. Okay. And he's just going to ready an action if they come up the stairs. Okay. Uh, Dona R. You cannot light the torch that he has poised by the the embers, and you know. Okay. Step up here because he wants in on the action and toss the torch down in the square here so he can see. Okay, cool. All right. The goblins are fighting each other some more. Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> this so is awesome. how Nivara saved us. And... Yeah. <laughs> I was like... I was just thinking, this seems an awful lot like a Nivara play here. But... Yeah, I feel like Trevor took pointers somewhere and took notes. <laughs> okay, they have just killed the goblin that was fighting kind of for you guys. Um, Alatar, it's your go. Um, if I move kind of up here, can I see them both? Well, yes. I guess there's light so I'm, I'm i'm pretty short so they're gonna have a little ten. cover because you have two people in front of you but all right well well to be fair this guy's short and this guy's standing at the bottom of the sta and the guy in front of him is standing at the bottom of the staircase okay yeah that's a good point you won't have cover um and one looks injured yes a blast is gonna go at him okay I guess it doesn't matter if they have cover because you just rolled a 20. Six damage. Uh, you kill him. <laughs> and he goes flying back into the water. Okay. Ah, sploosh. <laughs> Trevor, delete your rogue and put this inside Tyranny of Dragon. You'd be yeah, able right? To watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun playing this. Uh, Morden. Uh, what, is there only one goblin left? Yes. Oh, Morden's just going to... Oh, hang on. No, Morden's going to realize that the paladin really loves killing goblins, and he's just going to stand back and let the paladin deal with it. And, okay. Uh, stay where he is, readied. All right. He, he's saving him for you, Chrissy. <laughs> if you don't hit, though, it's, it's free-for-all. <laughs> oh, no, I just steps forward menacingly with his great sword and slashes at the goblin and apparently can't it would have been great damage wow. if i could actually hit him well he is gonna try to hit you back nine <laughs> he fails alatar hmm. uh 
I'm gonna say a hand. Well, I'm gonna he's gonna cast chill touch. Okay. Let's see if it hits first. Nine. Nope. Okay. Morden. Uh so Morden is still trying to save it, but Morden is going to double move action to here and go around the goblin. Can, okay. can I get around that goblin? Yeah. Yeah. And then just try to block the goblin's escape, like just basically setting him up for the paladin. Like you can't go anywhere. Okay. Or if it hit him already, paladin. <laughs> does flanking grant advantage or does flanking just simply not exist in this? Yeah, it doesn't really exist anymore. That'll hit though. For, for five. <clears throat> for no damage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you actually mess him up pretty bad, but he is still alive. And he's going to swing back at you. Oh, he hit you. Ooh. With his scimitar for four slashing damage. Alatar. Um, <clears throat> he's going to ready in action for just in case Donar doesn't kill the goblin. And he goes down. He's okay. going to shoot a blast at this goblin. Okay. I love how everybody's like letting the paladin fight him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morden. <laughs> Can I try to knock him over with my shield? Sure. Yeah, okay. totally. Uh, what kind of role would that be? Um. Oh, how does that work? I think you make a. I think you make an attack roll and he opposes it with an athletics roll. Okay. Which is not his forte. Oh, what would an attack roll for my shield be though? Just like go. Uh, it's just uh, a d20 plus your strength attack? bonus. Okay. So yeah, I just without roll my warhammer. Well, yeah. but you don't get a proficiency bonus because it's oh. like an improvised weapon. Uh, what is it? Plus four? Whatever your strength bonus is. Oh, strength bonus is plus two. Okay. I almost typed that into Twitch chat as a uh, command. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like, what is this? Up, <laughs> oh, you, you knock him down. He is prone. Oh, yeah. So now, Donar, you have advantage. Is I this... am Donar Kimbatal. You burned my bakery. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You, you slay said... him. You have avenged the bakery. <laughs> he just drives his greatsword straight through the goblin. Oh, gut. We got the deck of cards from the Princess Bride. I told her she had to say that during the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I still awesome. have my loot crate. I'm, oh, man. I'm upset. Dude, yeah, one... stop teasing Trevor, Trevor about the Dude, loot the deck of cards is awesome. I Chrissy, you probably don't need it anymore, but I'm giving you inspiration for that. That was awesome. There you go, Trevor. Oh, what are you cool. doing? I like it. <laughs> you say I get inspiration? No, Chrissy, Chrissy. for avenging the bakery. <laughs> awesome. You just wanted to be a shark. <laughs> I thought you're having a little bit of trouble. I'm just going to say to Dinar afterwards, you're having a little trouble. I just thought I'd help you out just a little bit. <laughs> Knock him on his ass. <laughs> Poor goblin didn't know what the hell was going on. Just got hit in the back, getting surrounded by people. All right. All right I've used what one spell since we've rested. I think so. I still have my spell slot. I forgot to rewrite down when I used them. Yeah, I used one. I used a healing word when she went down. All right. So I think if Thurin um, dies, a warlock might take his place. <laughs> Very nice. I feel like you're having more fun than usual as well. <laughs> well, normally I'm quiet because that's the way my character is. And Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm playing one of those characters right now. It was his first time inside a major city in Pathfinders, and it was just like so quiet throughout the entire campaign. All right. Well, what do you guys want to do now? 
finish making sure there's no more goblins in this place and maybe probably find the guy if they're still here somewhere, but they're probably not. Yeah, we have that um bridge that we went under earlier. Yep, yep, it you're headed like, to the bridge right now. Looks like Dinar is already running ahead of all of us. He's not running ahead, he's he's walking at a brisk. So am I going in the middle again? Uh, you probably should. All right. Donar realizes that this bridge is kind of rickety and old looking. Does he think it will actually hold his weight? Yeah, but you might want to go across one at a time. It is pretty crappy. He, he will say, I'm sorry, guys. I'm very heavy. Let me cross <laughs> first by myself before somebody else starts crossing. Or we might just fall into the river. How much does your character weigh? He weighs 200 pounds, not including gear. So he basically weighs the same as me, okay. Stand on the bridge. Oh, did Dinar remember to um, okay, there we go. pick up the torch that he threw on the ground? Yeah, he would have picked it up before he started moving because he would have realized that he couldn't see without it. All right, so there's one more room. And this large cave is divided in half by a 10 foot high escarpment, which is right, um, if it would work, which is right here. So that's 10 foot high. A steep natural staircase leads from the lower portion to the upper edge. The air is hazy with the smoke of a cooking fire and pungent from the smell of poorly cured hides and unwashed goblins and there are quite a few goblins in here there are five down on this lower level and then on the upper level there is one and he has a human who is uh, completely tied up he's obviously been severely beaten and uh, as he sees you guys approaching, he kind of shoves this, this human towards the edge of this 10-foot drop, and he has him kind of, like, dangling over the edge. And you guys can roll initiative. Goblins. <laughs> Give me a good roll. Oh, you finally got a good roll. Nope. I didn't. But, but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bernard's feeling good after avenging his bakery, so he's actually feeling like killing things now, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get to go first. So you see these uh, five goblins down below. And this guy gets to pay for the fact that he was not, you know, yep. faster. Here, I'll move him over a little bit. There we go. Fifteen. Uh, that will hit. 10 damage. And you slay him just like that. Chunky salsa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morden. Does this look like a regular goblin that's up on the cliff dangling the guy? He looks a, a slightly more badass than your average go goblin. Okay. All right, let's see. How far am I? Oh, that's double move. Um, well, again, he has to pull out his sword and, or his uh, warhammer and shield because he always puts them up at the end of combat, no matter what. Okay. So he'll probably just be standing there for a turn. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to get this guy in here. Oh, yeah. In order to attack, Donar would have had to have dropped the torch in the square that he's standing on. Okay. Sure. Um, there is some light in this room from the fire, so it's dimly lit without your torch, and then around you it's it's fully lit. 
So this goblin steps forward and he's going to attack the paladin with his scimitar. 16. That's my C. Okay. For five piercing. That'll do it. Okay, so he will back up and then this guy is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he's going to attack the warlock with his scimitar. And miss with a five. And then he'll go another five to there. Should let Trevor go first again. He could have maybe got them to kill each other again. <laughs> <laughs> this goblin comes up and swings at the warlock. 17. That hits. For six slashing damage. Always six. And he Always six and then four. Back to here. And then this guy. Comes up. Swings at the warlock. 15. That hits. Uh oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Five damage. Damn. Oh. Ugh. And he comes back to here. And Donna R. Nope, oh, I need to make a save as well. When it comes to your turn. Well, no, he skipped me. Oh. Oh, did I? Yeah. Sorry. No. Oh. You should just uh -oh. let that pass. What? <laughs> so that is two failures. Being fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that is not good. Maybe you won't be keep playing this character again after all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Donna R. Did you? Oh, you rolled. Um, oh, and another Seven. man. Morden. I got to actually think about my character for a second because... Things are looking so grim. He's trying to do well for himself. I feel like he might actually just turn and run from this. He's a cleric of life, so he would probably try to heal somebody, especially knowing he has another use of healing ward. He is far yeah. enough back that Maybe. I might not do it. Well, it is a ranged spell, Maybe. by the way. Yeah, yeah you so could... that's why I said he's far enough back that yeah, he's he could probably still cast it on. Pirate, he still has that chaotic part of himself. So I'm right, but what I'm saying is he could cast healing word on the farthest forward person and Actually, then turn tail and run. As how a many of life. how many spell casts can you do a turn in five e? Uh, one, one one spell, and then spell. you can do um, cantrips with as well. healing word, you can do healing okay, word. Okay, Chris, I can hear Lex. I can do healing word plus a cantrip. Basically. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna stabilize Trevor with spare the dying. Okay. And then I'll healing light on the paladin for one d four plus six. Okay. <laughs> nice. Fantastic. And you still have your Ooh. move, as well. Um, how far can I move? 20, 25, I think. Okay, I'll move. move here and try to block for the Warlock. Okay. Or actually, I could stand on the Warlock, can I, and block? Yes, you can. Yes. All right, I'll do Crunch. that. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the goblins. Um, so one is going to attack the dwarf. Oh, a 22. Yes. Ooh. For six slashing damage. Ooh. One attacks the paladin. Eighteen. Um. Does that hit? One attacks the paladin who's laying on the ground, who they've thus far ignored while laying on the ground. I mean, he technically hasn't stood up yet. There's a chance they don't even know he's. A yeah, that's true. I'll make a perception check for him. Let's see. Perception is not their forte, actually. Oh, but he rolled an 18. Ooh. So, yeah, he noticed, like, the healing aura settle on you. Okay. Um, so does an 18 hit you? Probably. I mean, I am laying on the ground. Well, there's there's actually no penalty for that other than no, well, he would get advantage. Yeah. But If I had my shield, 18 would be it. But Okay. 
So. So you take three slashing from him. And then this guy is going to move up and attack the dwarf. 18. That's my AC. Man. Oh. Now the good rolls are coming out. Now the good rolls are. Six I'm, slashing. I'm down. Oh, no. <laughs> um. Okay. And then this guy comes up and attacks the paladin. 17. Yeah. I should have used your shield. <laughs> I can't change my weapon when I'm laying on the ground. Three no, damage. But your always throw your weapon down for the great sword. <laughs> okay, Alatar. Actually, wasn't wait. Alatar, you're at zero, but you don't have to roll saves anymore. Uh, Donna R, it's your action. He's gonna use his sword. Okay, that is a hit, and you kill one of He's... them. Do you care yeah, which he's one? Trying to go, he's trying to go this way. Okay. Like, he's trying to get over to the people. So All right, you kill that guy. Probably the one immediately in the way. Okay. And standing is half of the thing, so I could yeah. theoretically move over here. Yep. Um, Morden, you can make a save. Death save. Uh, where is that on the character sheet? Uh, uh, four stats. It's at the very bottom right. Ah, there we go. Okay, you make it. All right, at this point, the goblin commander from on top, who is like now dangling this, this human from the ledge, which you guys recognize as Gundren's uh, bodyguard, um, Saladin or whatever his name was. He says, Surrender! And we can make a deal. Keep fighting and this human dies. We're all dead. <laughs> so, uh, Chrissy, you're the only one conscious. So how do you respond to this? <laughs> um, so we say, how would your character respond to this? Yeah. My character would respond by pulling out in the healing potion okay so you do that <laughs> which does 2d4 plus two two, two? yep <laughs> nice. nice okay morden you can make another saving throw <laughs> okay that's two successes for you uh, the goblin says, Foolish human, you will all die! I'm not a human. Are you stupid? <laughs> oh, a dragonborn, whatever. Oh, that's right, you're a dragonborn. I keep forgetting about that. Um, I'm surprised she hasn't used the breath weapon. All right. I did use my breath weapon. She did, yeah. Line of lightning. All right, there's oh. a 22 against your armor class. That's where it comes from. For four slashing damage. And a 16, that misses, right? That's my AC. Oh, that is your AC. Okay. She doesn't have her shield. That's the AC. <laughs> she doesn't have her shield. For another three slashing damage. And then this goblin moves here, and he swings at you. Oh, 23. <laughs> now the good rolls have come out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, six. Well, there. now you guys are captured too. <laughs> there you go. I'm actually captured. Um, there was no point in time when I could have actually used that inspiration to make a difference either. Uh, okay, Donna R, you can make your roll. Who knows? Maybe you'll roll a 20. Your death save. Okay. And Morden, you've got one more to make, right? Yep. Okay, so you stabilize, but not enough to uh... fight. <laughs> so yeah, so so you guys uh, are are tied up, 
and buggered by a bugbear. Or no, you killed the bugbear, so you can't be buggered by the bugbear. But but you are tied up and held for ransom. Um, they're hoping to get some good money from from the nearby town for your guys' hides. I think the town will pay them to keep me being a pirate. <laughs> the sad part is, when I become conscious, hands can start popping out of the ground as soon as I say a word. Well, you will become conscious in about eight hours after you rest in your unconscious state. I'm assuming we made it further than the other party. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, they they died in the bugbear cave. Oh, did they? They actually came here first, and they made a deal with the goblin commander, which basically he wanted um, he wanted someone to kill the bugbear because the bugbear had come in and like taken over, and he wanted to be in charge. That was never happening with our paladin. <laughs> yeah. Now, if the paladin would have you know parlayed and said, "Hey, we already killed the bugbear." We, but we yeah, that just wasn't going to happen with the paladin, <laughs> the goblin slayer. <laughs> the goblin slayer. <laughs> you goblins that destroyed your bakery. Well, it's really funny because um, Steve yeah, from no, our... That, it, it was the most logical thing because they they have a tendency to raid and set fires. Yeah. yeah. So Even Steve in... from our Tyranny of Dragons group had told me that he played this and they TPK'd. And I think Nathan said they played it and they TPK'd. Um, this is the starter set adventure. <laughs> <It's> what? Like, <laughs> so many I guess people TPK. I guess start out TPK. Is she used to dying? <laughs> if I, I mean, to be died. fair, if it had been anyone but Donar who had still been up at the end there, we would not have TPK'd. No. Yeah, I mean, we would have been, been able to say we already yeah. killed the bugbear and he probably would have just let us go What's immediately. And also, Which there's only three of 12 you. Damage, Twelve <laughs> damage. Twelve damage. Twelve <laughs> damage. Yeah. Yeah. Lex, Lex didn't get the rolls until the end, and that's when we needed him not to get the rolls at all. Yeah. Now I have to I, say, someone in the chat says this is my mo, like TPKs now, and I have to say honestly, in all my years running games, these two sessions are my only TPKs. I've, <laughs> and then they're both with the same adventure. I almost feel like I almost feel like I may have just had Morden run away there, but I just I didn't know. Yeah. So. Well, that's what Dwayne did. You know, he was in the same situation where the other two were down and making death saves, and he was like, "Fuck it, I'm out of here," and he ran away. <laughs> so. Hey, I did I suggest it. just tossing one healing spell. I, I know you did. And but... running. Yeah. Which also makes sense. Which also makes sense for your character. Morden cast two spells and then felt confident that he could protect the other guy. That didn't work out. Oh, well, that was fun. I hope you guys had fun. Oh, yeah. That was a blast. So that oh, actually hey. worked really well if Trevor wants to play in the other group because you'll be captured just like everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> she just had the other group sitting up there well, with the uh, goblin guy. Action. I can do stuff while I'm tied up, depending on what they're playing. I mean, to be fair, Donar could probably break his ropes pretty easily when he woke up, too. It's Yeah, yeah. Donar would probably break his ropes, try to attack, and actually get killed this time. So, You know what was funny know with... What was, what was funny with the other group when they got in this room with all these goblins is the goblins can either disengage or hide as a bonus action. So they were, they had one person that was kind of where Chrissy's character is now. And each goblin was one by one, like running up, attacking and then disengaging. And they were oh. just one after another kept doing that. And the players were kind of like, Oh shit. <laughs> I think that if Trevor had been in front and been able to whisper in this last room, we may have had something to do. Yeah. To. Yeah. That was really cool. That was that was pretty awesome. Or if you guys had a bard. I didn't, I didn't see <laughs> but yeah, you guys um, only had three people, and this is recommended for four. And I didn't like downsize any of the encounters at all. Oh, it's fine. It was still so, amazing fun. We we did pretty well for only three. Yeah, yeah. You guys got farther so, than. So what than I'm hearing is we definitely would have had it totally fine if we had had another person. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yep. 
because that that was really close. If you would have just had one other person to throw uh, a healing potion at like Rebel that last round, you probably could have pulled it out. I didn't even get a turn. If they would have knocked out Chrissy and then I could have been rezzed, I would have surrendered and at least, you know, been able to talk as well. <laughs> to be fair, I was trying to get over to where I could bring up Morden. Yeah. It's just I got attacked so many times before yeah. I could actually cast well, a spell. If you had actually brought me up, though, it wouldn't have mattered because I had two of my heal spells down. You could have used Lay on Hands, couldn't you, love? I was trying to get close enough to use Lay on Hand on Rubble, oh. but the one turn that I would have actually been able to do it, I wasn't able to do it because well, it when was kind you of... Healing potion, you were in range. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's the one turn I could have done it, but oh. the problem is, is the way it ended up working out is I didn't know Lex was going to count me using the healing potion at, as a reaction to him talking as my turn. Oh, okay. if I had known that, I would not have done that. I would have brought yeah. more than up. I mean, I I didn't have any heals left though, so it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. Yes, but you could have made a parlay with him, and you oh. would have made a parlay with him as a pirate. <laughs> oh yeah, because I want to live, or I would just would have ran away and left you two there. One of the two. Well, Chrissy, you had what a sixteen armor class, and mm -hmm. they they had a plus four to hit, so I had to roll a twelve or higher. To hit i mean what are the odds that i would hit with all three of those attacks if yeah, one of them would have missed she would have still been alive those rolls <laughs> they got so bad at the end uh, yeah sometimes i don't know this i i mean i i have faith that roll 20s rolls are are random and all that but but sometimes it's just like regular dice you, they just get hot and you're just rolling all these crazy rolls and just life yeah it, it was fun though i i just it, it amazes me because i remember playing or running second edition and goblins were a joke and you would just throw goblins at pcs like in droves and they were just like cannon fodder and now they're they're pretty tough i dm did that with cobalt one time and forgot that our mage had a really powerful aoe spell and he killed like 400 cobalts with one attack or something ridiculous like that <laughs> yeah kobolds are even worse in this because they have uh pack tactics so oh, if they're God. within five feet of each other they all get advantage <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i remember that from the cave yeah 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 they're pretty they're pretty badass too i level it's three cool. for a warlock i could get a book of shadows Ooh. gives me three can trips of any of any um class that, of my choice. Trevor's just gonna intentionally get Thurin killed now, next session. If he, if he, <laughs> if he absolutely sacrifices himself, you know he wants that warlock character. <laughs> no, Thurin still wants to become the greatest thief, so mm. he's sticking to it until the end. <laughs> he might put him in a bad situation yeah. on purpose, though. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, people people can make new characters if they want. Nathan did that, so well, you don't have to kill your guy <laughs> to do that. Last week, the guy that I was trying to kill, how much health did he have? Uh, which guy was that? The one that accused me of God, that. <laughs> um, oh. killing the guy on the caravan. I don't remember. He didn't have a whole I lot. Crit, I crit him for like 27 or 28, and it wasn't enough to kill him. I, I don't remember which guy that was. He must have been a named NPC if that didn't kill him, because like a commoner or something, that would totally kill him. <laughs> they have like less than 10 hit points. We named him something with a G. Well, that's right. It was... um. We He was one of the cultists. We ended up capturing him. Oh, we were trying to capture him yeah. for a. Uh... I rolled oh, yeah. ones on both of my D8, so that didn't help. Yeah, I think he had 30 some hit points or something like that. You were going pretty, pretty beast mode trying to kill that guy. Your entire yeah. team was trying to keep you. Yeah, he was really close. Like, he was down to the single digits at the end. Mm. Like they... That would have killed him. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you guys barely saved him from from Thurin, <laughs> the assassin, who isn't even the an assassin. <laughs> So yeah, we'll be we'll be playing that again next week without Steve. Yeah, stay tuned for um next week for Tyranny of Dragons. Yep. It'd be a little sad not to see Steve though, unfortunately. Yeah. He had to go get Rebel, married. Unfortunately, <laughs> he unfortunately is an in Tyranny of Dragons. Yeah, but you'll hear me in the background screaming at Hearthstone when I'm losing terribly. <laughs> <laughs> so well, yeah, um, Rebel. Next time, you know, I have a game. You're you're more than welcome to oh, yeah. to join in. This is a lot well, of fun. It's not Monday night. It's the only night I have pretty much booked. Yeah. Princes of the Apocalypse. You should try to join in on. Uh, Dwayne. Dwayne, Dwayne said he was only doing four people, unless, like, four people, unless uh, all six of the people from. Which I'm planning on it. Who all hey. said yes so far? Me, Lex, and Nathan. All right. And we've all made characters already. Yeah. I'm when gonna get to play. Man. It's my first time, other than Adventure <laughs> League. <laughs> Do you know when he's starting it? Hmm. Because I'm probably gonna play a warlock. Because I'm liking this. <laughs> I don't actually. Trevor's gonna have a warlock in every five E <laughs> campaign now for like the next three years. Well, that might actually round out the party, but it might not. I forget. Well, I'm, I'm playing monk. a wizard. I think Nathan is a paladin, and I'm a monk. A so monk. Okay. Yeah. Nathan, a weird paladin of some kind. He's a Goliath paladin. Because warlocks are a little more combat ready than like wizards, right? Because like you can wear some armor and use weapons and stuff right and my can trips are instant yeah so we yeah we'd probably i mean i don't know how good of a he, like a main healer a paladin would be that would be my only concern not very good not. i mean i could play a cleric i have no problem with that i'd like to tr give them a chance too. clerics are pretty cool i've never played a cl cleric in any version but it was kind of fun tonight yeah, dwarf cleric is pretty, pretty <laughs> badass. I I played a a hill dwarf life cleric and that was that was pretty fun. I might have to go like make like a priest and wow, that's like a dwarf now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, guys, thanks for coming. That was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it was great. I I might just have to do this every once in a while and and see if anyone can ever survive. I'll just try just to make same, it as hard as possible. Over and over again. <laughs> I mean, what's the chances of um the goblins attacking each other again? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty low. That definitely didn't happen last time. Unless you have that's... a bard or someone else with some kind of mind magic, it's probably not going to happen. That 21 might have did it. <laughs> yeah, that would probably do it. They have a minus one on their on their will on their wisdom so, so yeah they're not going to be rolling a 21 <laughs> that would have done it i pretty much have to roll in at 20. awesome well thanks for coming guys this was fun i think you might have hit 26 viewers i think for just a short time during this one but i'm not 100 percent on that Um, Apparently, um, D Reed seventy one is still waiting for an invite for a game from Ulex. I don't know who that is, outside of Twitch World. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> you have his email. I know that I'm like I should know who this is if I have their email. <laughs> no, it was fun playing with you, Rebel. That was fun. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a little bit sad because there's only three of us, and I thought it was going to be like really quick dying. Like, I well, expected kind of us dying at the wagon kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> we could have tried to get on um, since uh, Kyle wasn't able to make Monday, we could have tried to get him in tonight. Yeah, but he's he's going to be doing Mondays from now on, so. Oh, is he in that? 
Yeah. Group. Yeah, he just couldn't make it this week. So who all is going to be in the group that wants to finish the whole thing? Uh, Dwayne, uh, a guy named John that I know, uh, Kyle, and Nathan. Yeah, I'd, I'd have no problem moving this character over. Okay, yeah. Um, if you can figure out how to do that or you know how to do that, just let me know like what I need to do on my end. Um, you might not happen. want to delete this one just yet because okay. I think it might have to stay up until I get it transferred over. Okay. I so next something. Day we can figure that out. Trevor, you didn't disconnect all night. Yeah, that's on. true. <laughs> that's true. Just because you're not playing the rogue, you just don't disappear in the middle of a conversation again. <laughs> that's probably what it is. And and Dennis, I do have your email, so next time I have a game that's not full, I'll definitely let you know. But Tyranny of Dragons, man, we're what? I think we're about a quarter of the way through that. So it's going to be a while. <laughs> oh, man. I thought you guys were a little bit further than that. Yeah, we're about exactly halfway through the first book, and there's two books. Ooh. So I think the second book might go a little faster than the first one has, but I'm not sure. I've never run it before. Yeah. Thurin's just now doing a lot of damage, so I'm hoping he stays around for a while. Cool. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, think I mean, knows who their main damage dealer in that campaign is, and it's a bard, which is. <laughs> yeah, right. Only when she puts things to sleep or um turns them against each other, <laughs> <laughs> or hey, makes I them laugh not... their ass off the whole time so they can't do anything. I may not do the most damage, but I am CC queen. <laughs> yes, you do definitely. The most um non-physical damage. For the first like three sessions, though, she was the most like. She just took up air. That was all her character did, basically. Yeah, there's been at least two or three combats that I think could have been a TPK if it weren't for Chrissy's character. Ooh. And yeah, instead, first... it kind of turned into a face roll. <laughs> <laughs> the first three um, sessions, it was mainly Thurin and Ulysses doing the damage. Yep, yep. Yeah, we, we still have to see how it works with the druid now instead of the ranger. Because Ulysses was like at the top of the movie. damage charts. So I, I like the druid more than Ulysses, though. I didn't like that character. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's a better a better mix in the party now, having another spellcaster. Yeah. And someone who can heal when needed. Yep. Yeah, and it's nice having another kind of tank character I, especially I now that steve's not going to be here for a while <laughs> yeah, they might tpk without steve i know <laughs> steve's just gonna get back and be like where did my character go <laughs> those characters are still gonna live on it's just where did everybody else's character go is more the question <laughs> I'm partying with all these cool dudes, and now there's just a bunch of gnomes surrounding me. Through my patron, which is the great old one in this, I could have chose Dissonant Whispers or Tosh's Hideous Laughter yep. as one of my spells instead. We see those a lot in the other game from our bard. <laughs> <laughs> that and cutting words. <laughs> she is the best cheerleader we have ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, I really like what they've done with the Bard because I remember, I think it was in second edition, Bards were just a joke. And I always wanted to play one because I liked the idea of them, but mechanically they just weren't very good. In first edition, they were awesome, but you had to be like a something level fighter and a something level rogue before you could even become a Bard. So it was Now like, they're well, almost OP. Yeah. They were they pretty good be. in 3.5. Yeah, I think bards are decent in Pathfinder too. If you have them in 3.5 and Pathfinder, yeah. be okay. I'm if you have a, a mediocre to bad person who built it, mm. 
All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to take off. Thanks again for coming. And yep. uh, I'll see some of you Monday and some of you Thursday. See you in chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming, everybody. Enjoy. Later, chat. Thanks for watching, everyone.